The Norschleife DLC is finally here. I can't believe it that we finally have the Norschleife in ACC. And simply, it's awesome. It's 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 just awesome. I love this track, and this game seems perfect for it, in my opinion. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna show you my first two ever races around this track in this game, and I, I just love them. The experience was awesome. Every single second on track was intense, just scary, fun, exciting, everything. This is just, for me, it's just what ACC needed. And I'm recording this intro on a rush because I have an exam tomorrow, so no much time to record the video, but I had to get this out. I loved it. I'm loving it, and I, I hope that in the future I'm gonna enjoy it a lot more. So enjoy my first two races uh, around the Narschleife. Uh, thank you very much for giving this video a shot. The second I booted up the game, I instantly joined the session. I was too hyped. I really wanted to try the Narschleife uh, on ACC for the first time. I knew the track, but the game sent me instantly into a race. No practice done, no qualifying done, starting P21 with no expectations whatsoever. I was really scared. This was about to be my first slab on the Norschleife with no practice done whatsoever. I hadn't even driven the game earlier, but it's fine. Everything is fine. I just wanna have fun. It's green flag. We get away. We look into the inside and oh my god, there's so many cars going every single place possible. The track is just flooded with cars. I get one position here already and into the braking zone there are many crashes. I just take it very slow, try to avoid every single crash. I almost get sandwiched here but I escaped it. It's fine. Everything is fine. I made it out. I made turn one. I have no idea what position I'm in and the positions were not adjusting in real time so I just kept going. Um, I'm gonna try to take it a bit easy, you know, it's the first lap in a while. I was driving a setup for the GP layout, um, which was a very bad idea, it was too oversteering, as you'll see later on the Narschleife. But I got some positions, I'm alive, I don't think I have damage, and I'm gonna break early here, just to be safe. Watch some people go off the track who didn't take the same ideals as me of breaking early. But it's fine, we're alive. We're eager to make more moves, this Mercedes goes wide, I take the left side. Perfect, easy, one more position, let's go. Now we follow the Porsche into this corner, and you can see on the right of our screen there's a dead McLaren, and there's another McLaren, but this one is not dead, this one's cutting the grass, you know, the grass was getting really high on the Nürburgring GP track, so big props to this McLaren for taking care of it for us. Whew, there was a, a chaotic start, but it's suddenly gonna get worse, because one more chicane and we are in the green hell, the Norschleife. And the chicane is different, it's not the one that we have on the GP track. And I got it completely wrong, because I didn't really know how to break for it. I had no idea what it was going to look like in this game. And now we break and turn left into the Norschleife. It begins now, everyone is scared, I am, I am shitless scared. I had no idea what to expect, it was my first lap around here. But, as I just said, everyone is. There is a lot of people on the first lap as well, everyone's scared, and this Porsche goes over the curb, almost loses, and I say, fuck it, I'm gonna send it, and I send it down the inside, I get this position, what a crazy move, honestly, and the two cars that have almost touch, they're all over the place, and this McLaren is about to go way too hard over the curb, loses it, and that's one more position for us, and now we're approaching flood plots, the corner where cars can take off, but it we stay planted, we lift actually, because I was scared, I had no idea what to expect. I lifted way too much, but the car had lifted even more. And I, I'm on his slipstream now, I'm on the slipstream of the Porsche. Do I send it? Do I not? Do I send it? Do I not? It's my first lap around here, let's not. I, I back out. I back out, and I back out a little too much. I can take this corner flat, but I had no idea, so I just went over the grass. But it's fine, because I'm alive, the Porsche is alive, no no incidents happen, we're good. And now, I forgot the name of this section, but it's a really scary one. Flat out, down the hill, and then up the hill. And into this corner where you can break really late. How break do I late break here though? Uh, not that much, but it's alright, you know, taking it safe, it's my first lap. This is genuinely my first lap around Norschleife in ACC. This Porsche gets the corner completely wrong and it's one more position for us, we take it, thank you very much. 
and we're up to P7 or P6. We're P6, I think. Just the game hasn't updated it yet. But we started P21, we're now P6. Okay, instead of being quiet, because I'm getting close of this. Oh my god! Can I stop going sideways? I'm catching this. I'm catching this Aston Martin, and I'm catching this Ferrari. And am I actually gonna set up a move anywhere around here? I don't think so, because what I'm gonna do is break too late and they hit the wall, but it's fine. Just a tiny bit of damage, nothing wrong. But we slow down a lot. A lot more than I did it. This is a very messy lap, but it's the first lap ever. As I said, I keep repeating myself, I'm so sorry. We go through the corner where Nicky Lauda had this crash, and I break way too early, but somehow I managed to get early on the throttle following this Aston Martin. He crashes, I crash as well, but he has a lot, a lot worse of an outcome than I do. He's dead, I'm alive, up to P5, we keep going. The Ferrari got some space on us because of the messy corner holy shit people are dying again there's a Ferrari there there's another Ferrari in the grass and two more positions I'm in the podium I'm P3 I am actually on the podium starting P21 on my first race ever in the Nordschleife with zero practice done zero there's another McLaren another McLaren to the grass I'm in P2 I have made it up to P2 and I'm approaching the carousel and I, I remember looking I was looking at the relative and I was 6 seconds behind P1 I can do it I take the carousel for the first time I hook it up honestly not too bad not too bad for the first time I could do it in second maybe but it's fine I, I can see P1 6.1 seconds ahead of me in the distance I saw him for a second there I think if I didn't, I, I'm surely gonna see him again, because I'm closing up the distance, but this part of the track, I don't really know it. It's it's very new to me. Not not new, but it's it's the part I haven't driven too much, because most of my laps usually end before I get here. So, I'm taking it very cautious, as you can see. That unnecessary overcorrecting, braking when I don't need to brake, but I just want to stay alive. I just want to make it, to see the shaker fly. I hook up this corner and I approach the YouTube corner. You know, you probably have seen many videos of cars going around here because you know everyone knows this corner. Closing up on this corner, I, I missed the apex. I'm just, I'm just not ready for this part of the track. You know, there's no practice done. What can you expect? I've said this multiple times already, but you can see, you can see P1 in distance here, and I jump over here. I need to break a bit earlier here, or else the car goes airborne. But I'm alive. I keep saying that I'm alive because I, I'm impressed after every corner that my car is still in one piece. And this part is very much flat out, but I think I did some tiny lifts because I wasn't really sure of how to take it. First time, just, just scared, really scared. Breaks way too early here, and I break even. Earlier here, but I don't know. I left off the brakes for some reason, and I missed the apex. I don't know. I don't know what happened there, really. I hook up this car. They're not too bad. The midi carousel, and I can see P1 is closer. P1 is getting closer to me. I can do it. I can catch P1 up. I I'm very slow to this section here, and that's it. That's my first loop around the Nash life. I done. I'm I'm on the straight now. I just need to keep it together. We can see P1. We can catch him. We can catch him. Skipping forward one lap, the distance is now 5.4. 5.4 seconds. It's 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 closer. I gained on him. But but am I actually gonna be able to keep this pressure up? Uh, it's it's hard. The Norse life uh, is hard. And although my second lap was being generally better than my first lap, so was P1's lap. And Although the Delta isn't updating here, he was getting further away. Back now, on the straight, you can see he's a lot, a lot further away. I messed up my last sector again, and he's 8 seconds up the road now. 8 seconds is a lot of time to make up. But I really, I really wanna get up. I really wanna win this race. It will be, it will be so fucking cool to just say, you know, zero practice done, I hopped in, P21, and I won! I won! But, but sadly... Sadly life isn't that straightforward. As you can see... 
pushing too hard here, trying to break as late as I can. I just, I lose it. I completely lose it. I hit the wall. I got damage. P3 overtakes me. And I'm now down to P3. And... It's sad. It's just, just, just a shocker, really. You know, too much pressure, too much pushing. I lost so much ground to the cars ahead, and that would be my, my race pretty much over. I'm gonna finish P3. Just kidding, I'm not gonna finish P3. P4 caught me. P4 caught me. The race was on. The race was very much still on. My car was damaged, and it was getting closer and closer and closer. We gonna switch here to a third person view. Has he wanted my outside, but just couldn't carry it. But you know, I'm done on top speed. I was also running max wing, which is a terrible idea. So he's gonna go side by side with me, and we're approaching bravery corner. We're approaching side by side, bravery corner. What's gonna happen? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, that's my fault. That's that's fully my fault. That's fully my fault. I gave him the position back, and I finished before. I got some practice done, I changed the setup a tiny bit so it's safer, I took some wing away also so I have some more speed on the straights, and it's race on again. We start again for one more try around Nordschleife, and a crazy crash instantly happens ahead of me. I, I get a good reaction to it, but I still tapped the McLaren. I got like half a second of damage, not much. It's fine, not a bad reaction. And we finally get into T1 and everyone, everyone's just, you know, going crazy. It's such a hard turn one. I nearly hit this Audi who hit the brakes reacting to the cars in front, but I'm fine. As I just said many times, I'm alive and that's what matters. We keep going. I'm gonna be more aggressive this race now because I got more confidence. Try and get on the inside. I get one. Do I get two? No, not enough traction. Not enough traction, but I know a lot of people are gonna break early here. Can I get the move done? Can I get some more positions? Oh, we go to the outside. There's a car going off. I'm side by side with the McLaren and I get him. I get him. I'm ahead of him, but he's still on my right. But I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna be aggressive here. I stand my ground on the left, but so do the cars in front. And yeah, no, just just nowhere to go. I need to back out of this one. I need to back out of this one and wait for a better chance. That's surely gonna come. Surely. This race this race had so much potential here. I get a good exit. Good exit into the Shinkane. Am I gonna send it? Actually, it was not a good exit, but I do get a good slipstream here as he gets stuck behind a McLaren. And I'm gonna go for his inside. I'm actually gonna go for his inside. But just just the inside was worse. I if we didn't wanna crash, I need to let down, but it's fine. I just I just kept the inside. I kept the inside into the next corner and I got the move done. Simple, easy. And now we're on the Narschleife. We're behind this McLaren and we're gonna see that not many people are confident here. Not many people have enough confidence as this McLaren breaks very unnecessarily for this corner. But it's fine, you know, just as the car behind, I need to react and, and stay safe. And I managed to scare him off so much by being close to him that he crashed on his own. It just, it's racing psychology. I, it wasn't my intention to make him crash, but I, I surely was the cause of it. Uh, this BMW is dead. And that's one more position in the bag. I forgot to put the positions up. Um, I started P21 again. What position am I in right now? I have no idea, but the the, <laughs> the positions are not gonna play in time anyway, so I still have no idea. I get a good run to this corner, compared to everyone else, that guy was dead, and I'm approaching very rapidly this group of cars. The speed difference is crazy, just the confidence I had on the exit was unmatched compared to the, these cars, but I'm gonna have to yield and back down because I don't want to kill anybody. Oh my god, I nearly killed this Bentley. I don't kill the Bentley though because just, just, I break just a millisecond early enough not to hit him. And we're gonna go down into this insane section of the track. Real life, surely, in real life it's surely so scary going through here. And 
we're gonna get a better entry into this corner than the Bentley. We try to set up a move, but you know, he's just he's just gonna park it there on the apex. Just take the normal line, and I get no chance unless he's offline. And I still get one more run, one more run on the Bentley. I beg God, you know, I'm not gonna kill anyone here. It's really hard to parse on an Arschleifer, even if I'm much faster. Sometimes I just gotta, I just gotta yield and stay back, or else, or else shit's gonna go down. And we're still catching this group of cars ahead, so not too bad. I'll surely get my chance. Just stay back. Just three cars ahead, very close to each other. I, I, I'll give me some space. I break a bit early. You know, try to get another run here, but it's just no, no chance. This corner is not an overtaking spot. Someone died, someone died and returned to garage, as you will see on the right there. So one more position, and uh, almost could set up a better run than him, but I, I lost traction. So we're gonna have to sit behind for this corner as well. And maybe here, maybe after this corner we can get a good run. I I try to get a better exit, I do. Do I? It's kind of the same, but I have the slipstream. I have the slipstream and the Porsche acceleration. And if I get a good run through Nicky Lobo's crash corner, I have no idea what the name of it is. I can do it! I can send it! I send it down the inside, I stick it, I give him every space possible on the outside. Such a clean move. Beautiful dive bomb. Clean. Just... Perfect. The perfect overtake into that corner. I see the three cars ahead of me, my next targets. I just need to, to keep some speed up. And they're a bit messy. They're a bit messy and they start losing speed on the straight. So I get closer and closer. And we're gonna approach a brave big corner. But I don't think anyone's gonna be very brave. Yeah, they're, they're not brave at all. <laughs> and I, I have to break. And I wanna I wanna go around the outside, but just, just nah. We're both gonna die. I'm better off waiting here because he breaks too early now. Too late, I mean. And there he goes, up the track. One more position. One more position. Just, just making moves around the Marshall life. It's, it, <laughs> this is the best experience you can have on ACC right now. This track is just its something else. I take the Colossal, there's another car dead. And the three of this... There's the, this group of three very close together. The Lexus wants to get past but can't. Blocked by the Ferrari. And is there a McLaren? That's a McLaren. Just, just can't get past and I'm getting closer and closer and now I'm glued to this group but I, I get some bad runs here and there so they keep you know keeping some distance from me but that's fine this is not a section I want to get a move done I am not comfortable on this session enough uh, section of the track to get a move so I just wait I just follow closely looking for a chance someone to go off track someone to make a mistake and that's the only chance I'll have to strike I get really close into the YouTube corner, but I take a bad line and I I just stay back. I just stay back, I take too much curb here and I lose time again to them. So maybe maybe it's a smart idea to just wait for the straight. Oh Yeah, the servers are having problems. The cars disappear for a second and then they're back. That was really scary, but it's it's launch day. The the LC just came out, you can't expect much. Ooh, I had a good chance. Good chance for a good run here. Kinda of fucked it up. But I'm still behind. I'm still behind. I'm still getting closer. And closer. This could be an overtaking spot if I got enough of a run. But it's not. It's not in. The move is not on. I'm just gonna just gonna stay back and I lose it! Oh no! The car is incredibly damaged. My wheel is broken. And honestly, that's this race done.